Hey folks, uh, hey Ron here with you again. Um, right now we're looking at the uh, other telescope that we got from Leavenhook, okay? This is the Leavenhook Strike 900 Pro Refractor Telescope. Now, um, as I said earlier, okay, you have different types of telescopes. You've got refractor, you've got your max, you've got there's just there's different types okay we're going to cover them later but basically the refractor telescope is the kind of the one we all grew up with you know where if you were looking at an object on earth through the telescope it would be it would be upside down and it would be uh left to right in other words if it, if you had like say it would be like taking it's like looking in a mirror okay if you look in the mirror everything is reversed okay it's the kind of the same concept um, the only addition is things are upside down and left to right and right is left, okay? But anyway, when you're looking at the night sky, it doesn't matter because when you look at the moon, unless you are an expert, you know, you wouldn't know if the moon is upside down or not, okay? But this telescope, the Strike 900 Pro, um, we're going to, you know, go ahead and put it together. And we're going to later on be talking more about Leavenhook and their equipment. Now this is a, a, an entry level telescope, uh, the refractor, the one we also got, the Max series, is also, um, it could be entry level or it could be uh, mediocre, or it could be middle of the road. Um, this telescope is fantastic, as you'll see here in a minute, okay? But let me turn the box over so I don't miss anything here and tell you what all is included, all right? I did today, so the rain was uh, coming down here and everything's damp. I had some deer in my yard a little bit ago here, and they heard me making noise, and they took off. But anyway, here's what we have, okay? So what comes with this? This is the whole kit, by the way. Um, the telescope comes with its own protective cover, okay? Which I think is great. It has a virtual planetarium disc, which is called the Stellarium Program. Uh, it has an astronomer's guide, uh, which I'll show you in a minute here. 280 pages of everything you you know not everything but for the most part it gives you a good um, starting point looking at the heavens okay uh, it comes with a, a rotating star chart which is really really helpful it's waterproof heavy-duty plastic it has uh, three different posters and these posters are a nice size okay and they're really neat looking um, one shows the solar system another one is showing the Sun and the other one shows the moon and it actually has, um, on the moon poster, it shows different features on the moon itself. Okay, it has a Barlow lens. It has an eyepiece, a 6.3 millimeter, 1.25 um, eyepiece. Um, has a compass. Now, you'd ask, why do we need a compass, okay? Well, you have to know where north is, where true north is, okay? You want to find north, and then you want to find the north star. That's how you calibrate your compass and your mount that goes to the, to the uh, telescope has a solar filter now folks the solar filter is very very fragile okay um, right here as you'll see in a moment inside it's a real thin like um almost like tin foil okay and you can easily poke a hole in it so you want to really take good care of that okay um, but that's your solar filter which will allow you to view the Sun all right especially coming up next year uh, we got that big event coming up next year, okay? It has a moon filter and it has uh, four color filters included, all right? So, so what we're looking at here, here's the tripod, okay? A very, very impressive tripod, very sturdy, uh, well-constructed. It has a, a storable tray that can be attached to the tripod there on the bottom, and I re would recommend doing that because it stabilizes your tripod, okay? Here you have your uh, base, that's your mount assembly. You have your filters, your eyepieces, um, your, your solar filter. Let me show you the solar filter, okay? Uh, real quick, I'll take it out of the box just to show you. I mean, it's in bubble wrap, but as you can see, it looks like a silver coating. I'm not gonna open it up, but that's your solar filter. And it's very, very fragile. So again, folks, take great care and I'm handling the uh, solar filter, okay? I would even encourage leaving it in the 
bubble wrap that it comes with and putting it in a box, okay, and storing it in a secure location. Um, it comes with a finder scope, the finder scope mount, and here's the telescope itself, all right? So all these pieces have to get put together. Um, it comes with a compass, as you can see here, compass, handy compass, the disc, solarium disc, which is like kind of like a, uh, a program you can install that, that, that'll share with you a virtual, uh, a virtual sense of the heavens, okay? Um, they're 280 page astronomy book by Alexander Shimbuff. Okay, put it together. But in here it has everything you need. It shows the heavens, it shows you what's up there. Okay, it shows you where to look for uh, US Minor, for the celestial equator, for the Milky Way. It tells you how to do it. Okay, and of course it comes with the posters. There's a series of them here, a really nice poster. The solar system showing, of course, the sun is the center of the universe for us. The earth, right there, Venus, Mercury. And it gives you all the statistical data, how far they are from the sun in relationship to the earth, okay? Very, very this is great for a classroom. I mean, you could put this up and that's a test in itself right there. And I like this because it has the, um, this, this waterproof star chart, okay? Um, once you learn to use it, you can take it outside at night and use it, and you'll be able to look up and see what's happening. Now, a lot of people also use um, Google Sky, which is handy as well, but um, I don't prefer to take cell phones out there, only because a cell phone you know, is illuminating a white light, and that tends to blind people, okay? So um, I'll be back in a moment once we put this telescope together uh, from Leavenhook. Yep, definitely, definitely. Hey, folks, we just had another spurt of rain here. I mean, we need the rain, so. Um, yeah, I need rain. I need to get rain gutters up here one day. Um, but anyway, here we go with the uh, uh, Love and Hook Zoom and Joy uh, series. This is the Strike 900 Pro. In our prior video here, I kind of highlighted everything that you get with the uh, telescope. Again, just to cap a little bit of things, has a dust cover on the front. Okay, that can be locked into place right here so it stays tight. Um, you have your sighting scope, all right. Also, just as a reminder, the sighting scope is, when you look through here, everything is upside down, just like the uh, telescope itself, okay. Again, we have the tripod. And I love the tripod because it has on the bottom of the legs, it has these little like spikes, okay, that you can push into the ground. And that just gives it that anchoring effect, okay, so it's not going to move around on you. You have your counterbalance that you adjust, okay, which I've not done yet. Um, you have your manual controls, all right, and the, the controls are not designed for you to keep cranking them, okay. Um, they're designed for you to keep your object in sight or track it in the night sky okay it has um, a multitude of lenses this is your lens assembly right here you got your Barlow lens okay <coughs> and it has on here I couldn't figure this out on top but they, they call it a piggyback assembly which kind of makes sense right if you want to piggyback a second telescope right on top of here you can or you can mount your camera here if you wanted to okay um, you know put your mount there just put your camera right there it also comes with a, an attachment for the back of your telescope here for a camera mount which we will be getting later but again this is the 11 hooks uh, zoom and joy completely assembled and ready to go kind of and I'll be the first one to admit I have to uh, refresh my memory on how to use the settings. But the German mount, um, the German equatorial mount, they call it, because it's equatorial, meaning you have to calibrate this mount to the North Star. And then once you have it calibrated, then it's really easy to track any celestial body in the night sky. Um, 
It comes with the calendar eyepieces, 20 millimeter and 6 millimeter. Um, the diagonal, this is the diagonal right here, okay? That produces what they call an upright picture, okay? The Barlow lens is a 2x Barlow lens right there, meaning it magnifies that image 2x, okay? Um, of course, it has the multi uh, coating on it, which eliminates that lens glare, which it can be kind of you know annoying at times. But again, folks, um, I, I like the telescope. It comes with everything you need: the tools to assemble it. It comes with everything: the mount, the tripod. Everything is here. Plus, they're giving you a lot of extras. Okay, again, this is a, an entry-level telescope for students and for anybody for that matter just breaking into astronomy right but again it comes with a lot of goodies okay a CD with a program that will help you to give you a visual of the universe um, and it kind of gives you an, an absolute image of what the moon would look like if you were looking through the uh, zoom and joy here okay but again folks later on we'll be covering more details um, about the telescope. I just wanted to show it to you. It's assembled, ready to go, and it's it, not only does it look nice and pretty, but it's adorable. I mean, it's got a great, the case is very, very adorable. Um, the optics are phenomenal, and like I said, it comes with a carrying case. It tears down quite easily, okay? I would say within about five minutes, I could have it all tore down and um, in its storage bag that comes with it, okay? All right, folks, we will uh, catch up with you later. Continuing for 11 Hook here on AccuWeather.com. I'm Ron Shotley, and I'll catch you later.